Hello, it's the Skeleton Bones. Back with some Minecraft Infinity Evolved modpack, the expert mode. Let's check the integrity of the uranium vein in the mining dimension. I can see that this reactor is, or I mean not reactor, the excavator is running because the scoops, they do not come out empty, they come out full with the ore. And we can see the uranium here, some lead coming up, the core sample drill. Just like right click on it, we still have more than 50% left in this vein. So I'm gonna let this excavator and do its thing until it mines out the whole thing. It's probably gonna be a couple of thousand of the uranium ore when it finishes. I need to move all the machines out of this base to the new base. Before moving this setup, I should probably make one more tesseract. I'm gonna make up a couple of these before starting to move all of my machines into the new base. Mm, yeah, right. I need one more iron chipset for the basic machine casing itself. And then, what else? Eight more iron plates for the... For the machine casing. Oh, seriously? Why did he blow up? I moved away. What the hell? So this should be completely safe. I don't mind if the monsters spawn inside of the smeltery. It's gonna be their problem. So there's the alloy, sm alloy smelter. Uh, it's gonna make items kind of slow because it's not upgraded. The one that had an ectatic capacitor inside of it got blown up by a creeper. In order for the laser to work it must be in a range of five blocks in any direction. So that means one, two, three, four, five. This block should be a block that, that the lasers are going to be placed in. I'm gonna set it to the main RF out. What I have to do is count five blocks. Two, three, four, five. And this is how wide this setup is gonna be. I'm gonna have to fill all these with the lasers later, whenever I do have enough lasers anyway. The recipes that require the most amount of power are gonna be made in the center block. and. Uh, other kinds of recipes are going to be made in the assembly tables placed in these blocks. The corresponding row of the lasers is not going to be able to reach the assembly table placed on the opposite side. And only the assembly table that is in the center block is going to be able to receive the power from all of the lasers. Might as well prepare the space for all the new lasers. And it's going to be a huge laser setup and basically the whole chunk is going to be dedicated to the lasers pretty much. Yep, the vein has been depleted, so I might as well turn this off. And I am going to unload this chunk. Today's goal will be to set up the UU matter fabrication. All right, here is what I'm going to need. I'm going to have to grab a stack of emeralds and then I'm going to get all the lapis that I have and fortune it because to make these world interaction upgrade, uh, at least a stack of these is gonna require four stacks of lapis. The best way to process the lapis ore is fortuning it. Get all the iron that we have so far, and let's go down and put it into the induction smeltery, uh, induction furnace. What I am gonna do now is I'm gonna go, go back to the spawn and trade with the villagers to get some pickaxes and also get some more emeralds trade. But actually, I should I should just re-enable this timer and it will do this automatically for me. I'm gonna set my manufacturing halo. I'm gonna set a recipe in the manufacturing halo so that it will make the world interaction upgrade. But I need to remove this recipe from here so that it does not compress the lapis automatically. 
and then set one of the slots inside of the manufactory halo for it to autocraft these things. The only thing that I need to do is grab a pickaxe and it will automatically craft up the world interaction upgrade as long as I have all the other materials for that. Well, I do need to solve this problem somehow because this inventory keeps emptying out. I need the sword squads dust supply to replenish from time to time. So we are getting 16 sword squads. By the way, I need to select a blacksmith villager in this window. Mm, I'm gonna have to put this machine here so that it sends the emeralds here as well. In both of these machines. Here and, the, and here. This should have the priority because it will buy the yeah the third squads dust that we need to get more emeralds and then all the excess emeralds are going to go into this machine and why does it have the priority because it is closer to the servo so the items are going to go here first in this machine and then they will go to this machine the only thing that i need to do is put a can't do it here set this one to extract always active and then this one to insert and it should start Oh yeah, only thing that I need is, is to set this recipe up and this setup is gonna run constantly. The only, well, the only way this setup is gonna stop doing its thing is when all of the machines have their inventory filled up completely. Put an item duct here and this one should have the least priority. All the extra emeralds are gonna go here come here from time to time grab all the emeralds so yeah we should have a lot of emeralds in no time with this setup that's the infinite emeralds for the infinity evolved expert mode so what i've been doing here is i've set up 10 more of these reactors and i'm wondering if we are collecting more power than we are using that means we are not able to output well it is easy to calculate in each row there is 10 reactors each one of those generates 220 eu we just multiply by 10 and then by 3 and we get 6600 this three they can only output 6000 about 6000 eu per tick so one more mfsu should solve the issue but if I am to put one more row of these reactors, which I am probably going to be doing in this episode, I will need one more MFSU. So the first order of business is to make two more of these MFSUs and put them in this setup. Uh, are these able to keep up? Yes, seems to have worked out well, this setup. As soon as we get a stack of Iridium, I'm going to start working on the applied energistic system. So now we got our first MFSUs, MFSU, and then make all of these. And that should be all three MFSUs that we needed, the crystals, and then the MFSUs. I'm just thinking what should I do next well if I am looking for something to do I can always come back here and start building more reactors since we are making these iridium ores at a uh, decent rate for the applied energistics range we still need to make up all of these scenarium let's count how much materials do I need for the third quartz range well, obviously we need the Galgadorian metal for this. I'm not gonna look into this just yet because we do not have the way to get a lot of gas tears uh, unless we can go and kill them by hand, which I do not want to do. And we need eight of these enriched scenario. Uh, eight of these enriched scenario means we need eight by eight, 64, a stack of irradiant uranium. Mm. Well, that means we are gonna have to mine the nether the thing about mining the nether is i don't want to do it manually either i'm just gonna wait until the end the quarry finishes its task in the overworld and and then i'm gonna move the end the quarry into the nether 
it shouldn't be a lot because the last time I've checked on it it was about uh, nine chunks or something like that it is it is actually on its last row it's just these couple of chunks here but what I should do is to think about upgrading this in the quarry even further in their quarry uh, so so far we have this upgrade the in the quarry speed to upgrade uh, I'm gonna be making this upgrade for that we need a couple of diamond pickaxes with efficiency 5 enchantment by the way good thing about these tools in the infinity evolved mod pack since they only have durability one this disenchanter machine does not wait does not damage them because it only takes 40% durability out of these tools and since 40% of one durability is less than one it doesn't round up to one durability it just takes zero durability out of these tools so you can potentially do this the infinite amount of times as long as you have the experience so I'm looking for efficiency 5 see so if I did this and this it should yeah it makes this pickaxe an efficiency 5 pickaxe and it will work in that recipe in this recipe even though it says if just the efficiency 5 the efficiency 5 and, and fortune 2 pickaxe will still work in this recipe as long as it has the efficiency 5 enchantment it will be fine so we got one pickaxe for that thing and also hmm well one thing that i can think about to get a lot of experience is, is to start mining out these ores by hand well slowly but surely we are gaining levels with this method but what i'm thinking i cannot do this manually all the time well there is another way to get a lot of experience and not the kind of experience that the mfr gives you not this essence an extra utility spike which will kill monsters for me and you can also enchant this diamond spike with the fortune upgrade i mean the luck and let's hope for an efficiency at least efficiency four pickaxe but the best would be efficiency five all right the efficiency four and then i'm breaking don't need to grab my in the quarry because it probably has finished its job its task well there is only one chunk left for this and the quarry to mine out and now if i right click on the end the quarry it should say that the task is, is finished it should work out at least yes so this is the and the quarry speed upgrade three and it's the maximum that we can get on the end the quarry so now what will I do is I'm gonna go to the nether set up the end the quarry inside of the nether so that we could start getting all of the nether materials the glowstone and the, the nether quartz oh one thing I forgot is that I should have unloaded the chunk that the end the quarry was in previously I need to check how my UU Matter production have been doing. Well, we actually, not almost, we are already there. We have enough resources. I mean, we have enough iridium ore to make a wrench. The only thing that we are lacking now, we need 64 of these. The quarry has finished. We didn't really gather that much of glowstone. I'm gonna need some more. Why did it not gather this chunk? This is not even a chunk. Unchunk load this and chunk load this chunk. This machine should start mining. And just like this, I'm going to convert these into the reinforced stone. I'm going to see you in the next episode. For now, take care. Just go on.